Hello viewers, tonight we're going to be committing an electrical crime. We're going to create a 30 amp to 20 amp adapter, which is an electrically illegal move. I'm doing this as a temporary situation to test that vintage Westinghouse air conditioner, the large chassis model. It has a 30 amp plug. The data sheet is gone, so I don't know what the theoretical power draw of the unit is. But what I do know is that when I checked it at Russ's house, the compressor was only drawing about 14 amps. And I would imagine the fan motor draws somewhere between 2 and 3 amps, providing it's a PSC. If it's a shaded pole, I suppose it could be up to 5, but... I think uh, for a brief test, this should be okay. I don't think it'll exceed 20 amps. If it exceeds 20 amps, the breaker will just trip out and that'll be the end of the test. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna put a 20 amp plug, which I have 20 amp socket in the garage. I'm gonna put a 20 amp plug on this wire and on the other end we're going to put a 30 amp outlet which is incorrect and unsatisfactory for any kind of long term installation this is only for a test this will not work if you have a 20 amp outlet and you want to install something that's 30 amps you have to change it you know, the plug size is different for a reason the 30 amp is supposed to have a 10 gauge uh, the 20 amp is only 12. It's a short run, so I'm not worried about it for the test. This is 10 gauge wire here. This is a really a pain in the neck to work with because it's so it's so stiff. strip back the, the wire as much as possible to add to the add further electrical illegality to this this is uh, outdoor wire which is not really supposed to be used indoors now what what could go wrong I, probably nothing I don't, I don't see why you couldn't use use this indoors but I've been told by electricians that you're not supposed to do that. Getting the wires onto these prongs is not going to be fun. It's a little bit difficult to do even just with the regular 14. Oof and a half. Went too far. <laughs> that won't even cut this. It's pretty seldom I work with this stuff, but it really is. It really is quite a pain in the neck. I bought a spool of this, and I really don't remember why. Uh, I think I have 200, almost 200 feet of this. And what I should do is I should use this to make some outlets outside for the Christmas lights. Because I need a lot of amps for that, and this would be perfect. Okay.
this, so let's strip these back a little bit. And I'm only going to do about the length of the terminal because I'm not going to be able to to wrap this around the thing. There's just not enough wire. In fact, the design of this doesn't even allow you to to wrap it around if you wanted to. easier than I expected. It's always a nice surprise. And it's lost interest in cooperating. As I spoke too soon. Okay, so there's our plug, that's all set. I'll screw this in, but it's not really going to do a whole lot because I cut the, the jacket back too far. I'm not sure if it'll grab just the wires. It might, let's see. Actually, it did a little bit. Okay, so the plug is on, and now let's get the receptacle connected. I thought about putting this in a box and everything and all that, but. I don't think I'm going to bother because it's only going to be used once and then I'm going to take the outer part and put it in the wall eventually when I install the unit so uh, I'm not going to go ahead and bother with with that so it'll be something that you plug in or you, yeah, you plug the socket in the uh, thing into this and then you plug it in afterwards otherwise uh, you might get a surprise an unpleasant surprise.
Okay, so this should be the high side. So the black would go in there. Like that. Okay, we're ready to very carefully test the air conditioner. <laughs> 